Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Hyundai Santa Fe guys. And uh, if you guys have a Hyundai Santa Fe any generation, any year, you want to know what are the symptoms of thermostat being stuck closed guys, stay with us, we will explain in that video today. Now, we're going to share very helpful information that can save you thousands of dollars guys. And if you replace the thermostat, there is one thing that you should always do. So stay with us until the end and I'll explain what it is. Otherwise, you may end up needing a new engine. Now before we start let me tell you that should work on any generation Hyundai Santa Fe so practically anything from year 2000 to currently year 2021. Uh, before we start let me tell you guys a little bit about us every single car we get at the garage guys we take them completely apart we show you how to fix pretty much anything and we make more than two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you now another thing if you guys need to buy any parts or tools for a really good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from so let's explain what are the symptoms of a therm thermostat being stuck closed now this is guys your thermostat okay on a hyundai santa fe now this specifically it's a 2013 engine but even if you have a different engine the procedure is about the same so the thermostat guys every thermostat okay when you open it okay when you remove it usually on the thermostat housing like this one here it says uh, it has a stamp that says uh, temperature this one is 82 celsius okay and it says uh, that temperature is the one that the thermostat should open guys if it doesn't open that means that you have a thermostat that is stuck closed guys a stuck closed thermostat okay uh, can uh, can actually affect your vehicle quite a bit and we will explain how the thermostat may be stuck close to where it doesn't move at all or it opens but not all the way and in both ways it could be catastrophic for your engine now the thermostat is usually installed by the cylinder head okay on the thermostat housing right here and if it's stuck close guys what will happen the coolant from the radiator will not be able to enter the cylinder head and uh, cold coolant will not be able to actually cool your engine and as a result you can severely guys and quickly overheat your engine you may notice guys your thermostat is being stuck close if you start seeing your temperature gauge going up okay and especially even if it's not a hot day okay that can easily happen if a thermostat is stuck close car can easily even overheat during the winter cold months guys now what you can do to actually uh, okay uh, uh, avoid okay a little bit of a problem if you start seeing your car getting hot turn the heater on high all the way and the fan on high and that way the the heater core in the cabin will actually take some of the heat from the engine but don't drive like that because you can still severely overheat the engine guys and that can uh, end up needing a new engine but the symptoms of a thermostat being stuck close will be temperature gauge going up engine overheating uh, uh, coolant coming out of the radiator okay and you can even see uh, you can see even boiling coolant coming to the coolant overflow bottle okay that's quite common if it gets really really hot now every time guys you replace that thermostat okay you will need to drain the coolant and every time you drain the coolant you need to add coolant when you're done replacing the thermostat if you guys do not bleed the cooling per uh, cooling system after you add the coolant guys if you don't perform the bleed cooling system procedure guys what can happen you may end up having an air pocket somewhere inside the engine that can result into coolant not not flowing through and uh, you can severely overheat your engine even though you put a new thermostat so always bleed the cooling system once you're done guys something very very important hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out and if you have a Hyundai Santa Fe that overheats we have a video that will explain how to test thermostat uh, thank you for watching guys and see you next time